Hello and Grüß Gott. This is part 10 of our Still and Supercharger install. Um, things are looking much better than they have over the last few days. We actually got this thing to start. So um, just to kind of recap some of the things that we had issues with, the Still and Manual um, starts out really, really awesome and all the parts fit and everything goes along great. And when you get about halfway into this install, things stop fitting and the manual gets extremely unclear. I, I think still it needs to go back and do some work on their manual, especially to cover later model vehicles. But anyway, we plowed through all of that, and right now you can see all the Mickey Mouse wiring we have. We actually have soldered into everything related to the ECU install. And on the still in manual, it has a whole entirely different fuse block. On my fuse block, the fuse tab goes up here. This is where the fuel pump um, uh, fuse is and so I've tapped into that and you can find that out by looking inside um, the lid. Also we were able to get to the ECU there's a cover here that you have to pull straight up to get off. It's really difficult you have to rock it back and forth and pull it up and it'll finally come off. So we got all that done um, got all everything wired in. We have it like I said just kind of sitting here right now because we wanted to see if the machine would even start or if we'd have to go back and restore it back to stock condition. But it looks like it's going to work. So I'm gonna connect up the battery here and we're gonna start it and let you check it out. Okay, so at this point, we're gonna turn the ignition on and you'll hear the intercooler pump start. So you can hear that. And now we'll go ahead and start the engine and you'll hear it fire up right away. Sounds pretty good. So we've gotten that far. We're anxious to take it out for a test drive, but we got to clean up all the wiring first. So we'll do that and then we'll come back. So we've progressed a little further. Um, on our particular unit, we had to put the um, access to this area over here. So we have the vacuum line coming in from over there down way below. And then the grommet with the wires coming through here. We have this dressed up, so now we can put the cover on and then we'll finish dressing these and then we'll come back and see if it starts. Okay, so we've dremeled out the hood. We use this, uh, I think it's a diamond attachment for the dremel, it was pretty expensive. So I'm gonna guess it has diamond grit because it cut the metal very easily like butter. So we have our two holes cut. Um, we've measured them and remeasured them. We think everything's exact. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna try to close the hood gently with a camera inside and make sure the snout and everything misses. Also, we put a damp blanket on top of the hood while we were cutting, just to make sure there's no fire. We wore safety glasses, earplugs, and we had a fire extinguisher handy. So um, we're gonna see if we can get some pictures from inside and we'll come right back. Okay, so um, we were able to go take this out for a test drive. It um, has an interesting issue in that um, when you're at about 30 miles an hour under full acceleration, it cuts out and then kicks back in. Not sure what that is, but other than that, it performs pretty well. It's definitely somewhat faster than, than stock. I'm not gonna say it's hugely faster because it's really not, it's, it's just faster. Um, everything seems to be working correctly. To finish the job, we're gonna cut out the pad. We're gonna touch up the paint here. Um, we're going to possibly put a Caterpillar grommet around here. Don't know yet. Um, got a couple ideas. We're going to button up all the wiring, um, hook up the uh, temperature sensor that I haven't hooked up yet for the intercooler, and a few more little items to button it up. But other than that, it runs right now, so I'm happy. I'm able to actually take it out and drive it, so that, that makes me happy. Um, we're thinking maybe the um, still-in unit has to tune itself, possibly. We don't know. We did turn traction control off and on, and try the different things to see if that affects it. It's only under full acceleration that it cuts out when it tries to shift. <clears throat> so we're going to look into that. But anyway, that's it for this video. And be looking forward um, to a future video where we're going to do a complete walk around of this vehicle. This is the last thing I'm doing to this. Um, so it's got the Nismo headers, the supercharger, and the Doug Thorley catback exhaust. And that's 
Oh, and the uh, K&N performance filter. That's the last things I'm going to do on this for performance additives. And so that's it. Uh, so thanks for watching. Tschüss.